So the project is about the, the heritage that exists over the water in Norwich, the northern part of the city, the industrial heart of the city. But we're focusing on Anglia Square, which is a, a shopping centre in the middle of this heart of the city and using that as our inspiration to look at how the area has changed over the past and how the spirit of it has endured. This is an outrage! No! Something, Mr Mayor! We'll take it from here. I'm stumped. And I'm cross. I've come all the way from Magdalen Street. The common lot makes for it with people who do not make theatre, who, who haven't had that wonderful experience of coming together to go through the journey of making a play together and performing it and then getting that incredible buzz afterwards of making it. And what we try to do is make theatre that is accessible to anyone. So we really love this notion of the amateur, the amar, the, the person who loves. That's where it comes from, the amateur. And I think the status of the amateur, we need to raise the status of the amateur. Once they've stepped over the line and said, yes, I want to do it, anyone and everyone can have the opportunity of the joy of making theatre. It's an amateur theatre and it's proudly amateur. Johnny! Yeah, yeah, oh! Come and dance. Come and dance. Well, I'll so take me back to when Michael and I were a call. Oh, I bet it takes you back to Day Ireland. before ten kids. Ah! Who was at what set? To achieve great things, we must dream as well as act. Beyonce? Yes! <laughs> Amateur doesn't mean unprofessional in terms of standard. You have to ask people to raise their game right as high as it can go. And it will never be the standard of a West End musical where people have trained for three years and sing it every night. And do it. But it will have a spirit to it that makes it as enjoyable as any posh, polished West End production. play is really important for Norwich. It's igniting a debate, so people are going away, and that question that's posed at the end of the play, which is, I can have an opinion, and I can stand up, and I can say something about where I live, and, and make my opinion count. It's been going better, I think, than anybody could even have envisaged. And I think this is for lots of reasons. The children in particular from the schools, there been five schools involved, they have been superb. So the whole project so far in the schools has been about gaining a response to the area and a, an understanding of the area through their creative response. And then that is going to go into drama and songwriting workshops to create pieces of music that will end up in the final production. I've seen all of them, apart from one. I just feel compelled to come and see them every time. And um, yeah, I can't give away, basically. <laughs> I'd rather be a mison, be merry, merry mison, and eat, drink, shout, love and play. Do you even know what century we're in? Of course they don't. They haven't got a clue. Well, I was just about to say, I was, uh, we're in the 1850s, ladies and gentlemen. The great Queen Victoria is on the throne. So I'm playing the part of Susanna, and uh, she's a scarlet dyed from Calvert Street. Her name's Susanna Woolbright. I think it's the real name. It's a real, it's a real person. And she's basically this troublemaker, rebellious spirit. As soon as I, like, in the audition I read her part, I was like, oh, I really want to be this character because it suits me a bit too well. <laughs> General Rabble Rouser. Why must we starve while others roll in luxury? <laughs> you be careful that side of the water. Could be dangerous. Fuck it, you know. You better make sure you've got no valuables in there. You may catch the oh, look at these people on these very fine know. horses. It's wonderful. <laughs> I have two lips for you. The future was there. Oh, the water. Come if you dare. There's nothing but sin and blasphemy that side of the river. So you what you do, you zip up and everything. It's a bit rough this side. Keep coming in as well as we start. The show won't start till I stop shouting. We don't want your pity. The shows have been going absolutely spectacularly. I think it's blown everybody away. The most amazing thing is the amount of people from all over the county, I think, that have come, and the amount of feedback we've had. It's absolutely amazing. So what was his story? A nice in our streets, but everyone knows the future's concrete. It's all over. It's 
been brilliant. What more can I say? It's been wonderful.